Hey, I'm JR, and you are watching the coolest dude on YouTube, Jammin' Music Man. Flick Club out. What's up, guys? It's me, Jammin' Music Man, and today is my favorite day of the whole year. No, it's not Christmas. No, it's not my birthday. No, I'm not going to the strip club. I'm going Black Friday shopping. That's right, Black Friday 2016. And I got a very special friend here with me. His name is... Jared, Jared Story. And Jared Story. That's right. And uh, if you don't know who this guy is, this is Captain Funko's little brother. Yep, he's right. So what's it like being Captain Funko's little brother? Just... It's just whatever. He's just my brother. Me and him are two different people. Love him to death, but I'm a little more mature than he is. And I'm not too crazy about Funko hunting. I'm like James here. I love classic <laughs> rock, and I just love listening to good old-fashioned music. That's like the best thing about going shopping, I reckon you could say. Damn, that was a diss. But anyway, Jared and me, we're going Black Friday shopping. We're heading down to the Mac Town, Macon, Georgia. Captain Funko, he couldn't come along today. But I got his little brother instead. So come along with us as we go Black Friday shopping. You ready? All right, yes, folks. Sir, I'm ready. First stop of the day. We are here at Best Buy. Jared, are you looking for anything in particular uh, here at Best Buy? Probably just going to buy some music CDs tonight. Any, any type of CDs you're looking for? Any kind of classic stuff, really. You going to pick up any flat screen TV, flat screen TVs or DVDs or anything like that? Well, if I had enough money, my friend, I would. But unfortunately, me and you are kind of broke. A little you, bit. You're not supposed to tell the viewers at home. But it's okay, though. But we're about to head into Best Buy, and we're going to see what we get. Ready? Can't see. Hi, folks. We just got out of Best Buy. Best Buy was pretty much dead in there. And I'm letting J Red drive my truck. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Sir, do you know what you're doing? Yes, sir, I do. We're about to head to Target. I picked up one thing in Best Buy. I'll show you guys what I got at the end of this video. But right now, J Red is driving my truck. I hope he don't wreck. I hope we can make it across the street. Please don't get us killed. Please don't get us killed. <laughs> okay, we're in the Target parking lot right now. We are alive. Yes, we are. And as of course you can see, the popo is out tonight, J Red. Oh yeah. Now, J Red, is there anything you are looking for in particular at Target? Hopefully, no transvestite bathrooms. I hope not. Even though it's going to be legalized real soon. Uh, well, Your boy yeah. Donald Trump. That's that's one of his main issues. Well, of course, but transgender bathrooms in Targets. That's what we need in America. And everybody and their grandma is here at Target right now. Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy. So, so yeah. How do you feel about driving my truck, J Red? It's just like driving a car. And we 
what are you doing right now? Parking. Is this what you're called parking? Yes, I do. Way out here. Way out here. And is your in and, way out here in the middle of the fucking nowhere? Is your fucking steering wheel bent? Uh, a little bit, I believe. Yeah. That looks weird. But hey, hey, hey I'm the one who's driving. I so, know. You know. I know. Anyway, let's go into Target. Let's see what we can get in here. Let's see what we can get in trouble with. Yeah, and hopefully we don't walk into any transgendered bathrooms in Target. I agree with you. We just got out of Target and I'm letting J Red drive my truck right now. Sir, you haven't been drinking, have you? All right, J Red, we just got out of Target. Target really didn't have shit in there either, now did it? No, I didn't. You know, pretty much the same thing as we saw in Best Buy. Right now, we're heading to a uh, Barnes and Nobles. Never been to Barnes and Nobles on Black Friday. I don't even know if they're open, but we're going over there to see if they are. And I hope we make it alive because J Red's driving my truck right now. Yeah. There's all these crazy ass mofos on the road. But we're on our way to Barnes and Nobles and we're going to see what we find. Oh shit. All right, folks. We just rolled up here in the Barnes and Nobles. And no, they are not open on Black Friday. But we're going to check out Hot Topics, see if they're open. Make sure Jared don't hit this little girl crossing the street. But Jared, what do you think about Barnes and Nobles being closed? It's a bunch of. While you're driving my truck. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit is what it is. That's right. Black Friday is a bunch of fucking bullshit. I haven't seen not one fight in all of my years at Black Friday. What it's, about you? That's not even Friday. I know it's Thursday evening. There goes you some honeys walking down the street. Yeah. While me and Jared find a parking place, we're going to head in a hot top. All right, Jared, we made it to the mall here on Riverside Drive in one piece. We didn't hit any little girls cross the street. We didn't hit grandma. Barnes and Nobles is closed, and now we're about to walk into Hot Topics. Looking for anything in particular. Maybe some cheap t-shirts. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. Anything and else? Maybe a beanie. A beanie? Maybe a beanie. So, you're secretly a hipster kid? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay. I mean, it's all right. I'm it, into God you know, stuff, you know, so why not? You know, I heard I heard you cut your wrist and listen to My Chemical Romance. Well. I, I heard you went through you your... Know, I heard you went scars, through your... You don't see my scars. I mean, no, they're kind of hidden. I heard you went through your emo phase back in the day. My emo phase? Yeah. Uh, and there's like a, a light behind you that looks like a cross. It almost looks like you're a god. It does? Yeah. Maybe it's invisible. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. See that? Yeah, I see. Yeah. Even yeah. though it don't look like a cross. And then across the street is your favorite store in the world, Dick's. Big Dick's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't love Big Dick's? Let's go. What y'all boys know about white boy money? Well, you see. Boy, you gonna get your ass shot. White boy money.
All right, folks. We just got out of Hot Topics. j is trying to back up in my truck. I hope he don't hit anybody. Please don't hit anybody, okay? I don't plan on it. And right now, we are heading to the best place in the whole world, Wally World, while j Red is backing up here. J-Red, how you feel about going to Wally World on Black Friday? We're going to hell. Yeah. We're going to hell, and we're taking you guys with us. So who's ready? Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, folks. We made it to Walmart. That's right. It's probably a madhouse. The inmates are running the asylum inside, J-Red. Are you prepared to enter Walmart on Black Friday? Well, come on, it's it's time to be a man and go to Walmart. Let's just go. Let's go. Was Black Friday, was it all what it was hyped up to be? No. It wasn't. I mean, did we see one fight in the store? No. Nope. Did we see anybody pushing over Grandma to get some fucking Marvel superhero DVD? No. No, we didn't see none of that. Would you say this Black Friday was pretty tame? It was pretty laid back. I mean, we saw cops. I mean, we didn't see any fights. Nobody was about to get shot. No. It was just pretty much an ordinary night at Walmart. Yeah. So guys were trying to get home. j red has got to go to work in the morning. What time you got to go to work? Got to be there at 8 o'clock. And it's like, what, 9.34 at night? So you got 11 hours before it's time for you to go to work. Time before, I, before it's time for me to clock in. All right, well, we're heading home. j Red's driving my truck. I hope we can make it back in one piece. We will. And uh, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at Black Friday. All right, guys, I'm home now. j Red, he just left. He's got to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning, and it's almost midnight right now. So I hope he can get to work and be there on time. But uh just wanted to show you guys uh, what I picked up at this year's Black Friday. I pretty much picked a little bit of something in each store we went to besides Target, because Target pretty much had what everybody else did. So I didn't get nothing in there. But all the other stores we went to, I did pick something up. And I just wanted to show you guys... Uh, the first thing I got, I got it at Black Friday, and it's a DVD of one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, and I've actually, I've been slacking with watching this show. It's been a while since I've uh, watched a couple of seasons, but I picked up from $9.99, uh, Season 5 of The Walking Dead. I love this show, and I need to be catching up, because what I hear right now, you know, it's been getting really uh, violent with the storylines. Uh, with the current season, so hey, I'm slacking, don't hate me, but hopefully I can get caught up with what's been going on by watching uh, season five of The Walking Dead. Like I said, I got it at Best Buy and it was $9.99. Uh, the next two things I got, I picked them up at uh, Hot Topics. Both were uh, $10 a piece, so... Hey, head to your local Hot Topics, but uh, I got two t-shirts, 
And uh, the first one I got is from one of my favorite uh, 90s grunge alternative bands. It's the uh, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, one of their best albums, of course. Uh, 1979 was on this album. Uh, Tonight, Tonight, I believe, was on this uh, CD right here. But I love the Smashing Pumpkins, and I just had to buy this T-shirt. And the next one... It's a t-shirt from one of my all-time favorite new wave of British heavy metal bands. And the lead singer of this band uh, passed away almost a year ago now. And uh, I love this band. And of course, I'm talking about Lemmy. And the band I'm talking about is Motorhead. I love the Ace of Spades album. And I love this t-shirt. And I'm going to wear it with pride. And I'm going to wear it in tribute to... Uh, Lemmy, R.I.P. Lemmy, and uh, the next few things I picked up, I got them at Walmart, and I got quite a few things, but uh, the first DVD I picked up, I haven't seen this movie yet, and I wanted to see it in theaters, but uh, I got the Blu-ray uh, DVD combo of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, I love the first movie, and I'm looking forward to watching this because uh, Bebop and Rocksteady and uh, Krang are in this movie, along with Casey Jones. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. So I got that. I believe I picked this one up for maybe $9.96. You might want to check this one out at your local Walmart. Uh, the next one, I remember I saw this in theaters about a year ago. I love this uh, story right here. It's uh, American Sniper with um, Bradley Cooper and Sienna Miller based on a true story about uh, Chris Kyle who was a sniper uh, during uh, the Gulf War. Not the first Gulf War but the Gulf War 2 I guess we call it. Operation Iraqi Freedom. But uh, pretty much tells his story of how he was, you know, he was pretty good uh, marksman. He was really good with a rifle and, you know, he joined the army and he was like, he won, you know, a lot of medals in the army. He was, you know, one hell of a, a shooter. But uh, I love the story and if you haven't seen this, and I believe I picked this one up for like three ninety six. I believe all the yellow tags are three ninety six. but I'm glad to finally have it on DVD and looking forward to watching American Sniper. Uh, this next one right here, it was $1.96. Uh, I remember watching this in the theaters, and it's one of my all-time favorite Will Smith movies. The movie that I'm talking about is Independence Day. Looking forward to watching this. It's got Will Smith, uh, Jeff Goldblum, uh, Cousin Eddie, uh, Randy Quaid is in this. And for some of you out there who didn't know, Randy Quaid... Pfft, Randy Quaid was actually on Saturday Night Live. Uh, that's right. He was on Saturday Night Live, the 1985-86 cast, along with Robert Downey Jr., uh, Anthony Michael Hall, uh, John Lovitz. I want to say Damon Wayans was on that cast. Many people consider that cast like the worst SNL cast of all time. But I'm going off into a whole nother topic. But Independence Day for $1.96. What the hell. The next one I pick up. One of my favorite comedies of the 2000's. And it's got uh, Steve Carell. Uh, the movie I'm talking about is uh, The 40 Year Old Virgin. I love this movie. It's basically about a guy who's in his 40's and he's still collecting uh comic books and, you know, dolls and figures and all that, and he finally meets this girl, and he, he wants to get serious with her, but he's never had sex. But I love this movie. It's got the girl from uh, Two Broke Girls. She plays the daughter. I've always had kind of a, you know, secret cush on her. I believe her name is uh, Cat. Cat something or another. I can't remember. But she's in it, and I'm looking forward to watching The 40-Year-Old Virgin, which was $1.96. The next one I picked up, I've heard nothing but good things about this movie. It's got my boy uh, Andy Samberg. The movie I'm talking about is 
pop star, never stop, never stopping. I believe he's making fun of like boy bands and you know Justin Bieber. It's kind of like a mockumentary, I believe. But looking forward to watching this. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Uh, the next one I picked up. I picked up uh, Point Break. I actually uh, had owned this previously, but the disc got scratched. Messed up, so I got it for $1.96. I love this movie. One of my favorite 90s movies. One of my favorite Keanu Reeves movies. So, you know, to get it for $1.96, what the hell. And the final one right here. Looking forward to watching this. I've never seen it. And I want them to say it was $3.96. And that movie I got is Pixels with uh, uh, my boy, uh, what's his name? Adam Sandler, he's in here, and it's got the, the little short guy from uh, X-Men, Days of Future Past, and the Game of Thrones, he's in it, and uh, basically, like, all the classic arcade game characters, like, they come to life, and they're attacking planet Earth, I haven't seen it, but I'm looking forward to watching it, and I've heard good things about it, but to get it for three ninety six, hell yeah, but uh, guys... Those are all the DVDs I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this Black Friday 2016 video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys picked up at this year's Black Friday. And I gotta say, you know, people are always scared about going out on Black Friday. You know, they, they hear about all these fights and people getting crazy and, you know, with me going out there, you know, I don't see any of this. It's pretty much tamed. The cops are out. There's no, you know, shootout or anything like that. Everything is just pretty much quiet and tamed and pretty much boring, really. But, hey, I mean, you go for the deals, right? You don't go for the violence. I mean, come on. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Jamming Music Man. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.